Hi everyone. Army-based soup budaejigae was originated during and after the Korean War when Koreans had very little to eat. People made this dish by combining leftover spam and hot dogs from US Army facilities and mixed it with whatever else was available. All of the leftovers were combined with water in a large pot and boiled. Nowadays, most Koreans have enough to eat, but this soup is still very popular with more varied ingredients added to it. Try someday! Add 6 cups of water, 3 pieces of kelp, and 1 pack of dried anchovies in a pot and boil it on medium-high. Meanwhile, combine all of the ingredients for the sauce. Mix everything together. These are the main ingredients for the soup. Hot dog, ramen noodles, American cheese, spam, ground beef, beans from can, green onions, mushrooms, onion top, hot pepper, fermented kimchi, and over rice cakes. Slice the tofu, onion, and the butter mushrooms into quarter inch pieces. Chop two green onions into one inch pieces and one hot pepper thinly. Slice three hot dogs or sausages diagonally. Slice half a can of spam into quarter inch pieces. Once the broth starts to boil, cook for 5 minutes and then remove the kelp. Boil it for another 5 minutes and take out the anchovy pack. Place the hot dogs, onion, kimchi, spam, tofu, mushrooms, and beans into the broth in clumps. Place the ground beef in the center of the pot. Spread the rice cakes over everything. And then pour the sauce on top of the ground beef. Once the soup starts to boil, mix the sauce into the broth. In this step, stir the center with a spoon so that the beef does not cook into a solid chunk. Cook for 10 minutes on high. Place the ramen noodles, green onions, and hot peppers on top of the soup. Cook for 3 to 5 minutes on high or until the noodles are cooked. Place one slice of cheese on top of the soup and turn off the heat. Cover the lid and let it set a little until the cheese melts. I personally prefer my budejjigae without cheese. However, I wanted to show you how some people add cheese to it. So the choice is yours. Today I just showed you a common way to make this soup. So depending on your taste, you can be creative and add other ingredients. Enjoy! Thank you for watching. See you soon again. Bye.